First, I want to give a thank you to all the viewers of the YouTube uh, UT Shaman site, and I do appreciate your comments and questions. One has come through very recently, and the question is about the dark side, and I've been asked if I would elaborate about this subject for YouTube viewers. So here we go. Now, I'm going to start this by letting you know about something that happened to me when I was around about 25 years old. I was going through a very prolonged period of introspection and self-study and working out about all spiritual aspects of life. And at that particular time I received a download and it came through simply as one sentence. And this is what I was given. I was around about age 25 when I was given this and this is what I was given. Everything that happens is right and just. I'll say it again, everything that happens is right and just. And as you might perhaps expect, the very first thing I did about that was to wear up inside and come up with all the reasons and examples about how that could not be possibly the case. Because any very brief excursion into human history and what's going on on the planet even today, you just seem to see so much injustice in the world. The world seems to be absolutely full of it. And yet here I was being given this very strong, forceful feedback which came as a download, just a single sentence in its own right. Everything that happens is right and just, I really couldn't understand it and it took me years of arguing and questioning and disputing with my rational mind, just struggling to try to understand what on earth it was about and it's only since I became qualified as a shaman that I began to get any understanding of this. And this really is my introduction to the dark sides because the revelation which I've had is to see and appreciate how absolutely every aspect of our life on this planet is all useful. It's all grist to our mill for our evolution and our learning. And so this also applies to the dark side, the side that most of us want to shy away from, the, the part of us that we just don't really want to recognize. And so here it is, the thing that a lot of us have difficulty with is to understand that the very nature of being a human being is reflected by our daily life. Because yes, guess what happens? Every single day the sun comes up, it gets light, and every single evening the sun goes down and gets dark. So we experience light and dark on a daily basis. It's our diurnal situation. It's our environmental reflection of how things are. So just as much as it is from without, which is day and night, so we have the same thing from within. So we've all got a light side that wants to do the very best for the world. We've all got a dark side, which can be very selfish, can be very arrogant, and just want to have our own way. And so the way that I've been given to understand this is that as we progress in our lives, we become more and more aware of the fact that these are essential natures which make us up. And the question really is not whether you have a dark side, the question is what do you do with it? And here is why I want to go into a very particular distinction with you. I want to distinguish between actions in the past, actions in the present and actions in the future. And this is the way that I see it. I see it that all of us have allowed ourselves to become enslaved by the dark side at some point in our past. Everyone that I've ever met, and that absolutely includes me and all the people that I love most, have actually manifested their dark side by being hostile, negative, possibly even violent with people that we've known and loved in the past. So if this is our heritage, if this is part of being a human being, we've all experienced manifestation of the dark side in the past then once we become fully aware of this as being part of our nature, it then gives us the opportunity to look at that and to say, OK, those are things I've done in the past. Now is the present. And my job in the present is actually to learn self-mastery. And self-mastery means that we don't go off on one, we don't become violent, we don't become hostile, because that's all part of perpetrating so many of the problems in the world. And so when it comes to what we intend for ourselves in the future, we naturally are all intending to create a society which is one where peace, freedom and justice are essential parts of our existence. And here's the beauty. None of us, if we're conscious, can really slip into arrogance because here's the thing that's going to smash our arrogance down. We've all allowed the dark side to take control at some point in the past. And once we recognize that, that means we cannot really stand in a place of arrogance because we know that's something that we've done. Once you are in a position where you can look at yourself with real honesty and say, look at the things you've done. So this is my opportunity. This is what I need to say to all people out there in the world, which is that there are times that I have used my 
back energy and awareness and power as a human being in the past and I have hurt other people. And I'm also aware that in my life other people have hurt me. Now here's the rub. Most of the time the people I've hurt are also the people that have hurt me. The people that have hurt me and the people I've hurt. This is the, what I understand from doing a fairly thorough recapitulation of my life so I can see this is how things have been. So my job for myself is to look at the past and to look at what I've done and to be really brutally honest with myself. And this is where I go to the wonderful Hawaiian shamanism, four sentences of I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. In those four sentences we have the healing of the whole planet and the healing of the dark side because if, as I maintain, we've all done things where we've allowed the dark side to become a master, then of course we've got something to feel sorry for, of course we've got something that we want to be forgiven for. And what ties it all together is the fact that there is the love which flows through all of us. And then once we experience the forgiveness, that's when the thank you comes in. And I say forgiveness starts with you. The very first and most important thing you can do as a human being is come to a real place in your dark side nature to acknowledge the things you've done that you're not proud of. The very first thing you can do is you can take yourself to one side and say, that's the way I used to be. I'm not like that anymore. I choose not to operate in that way. I choose not to allow the dark side to be the master of me and if I get a feeling like I want to have revenge over a person I've got enough self-control not to do that. So that then takes me to the point where I can forgive myself because I can say that those activities that I used to do, the things I feel bad about, the things I feel guilty about, I can let go of feeling bad, I can let go of feeling guilty through forgiving myself for all the things that I've done, the people I've been violent with in the past, the people I've judged, the people I've criticised, the people I've gossiped about. This is what I can do, this is my power as a human being, is to recognise those things that I've done. And I've said this before in terms of unbending intent, we have to be really clear about this because we are all human beings and it is an acknowledged fact of human beings is what the things we do is we make mistakes, we err. So if you find yourself in a situation where you do something that you feel for your own sense is wrong, then the first thing you want to do is to take this off to one side and just have a little whirl with yourself, shouldn't have done that. The next thing you can do, if at all possible, if you're still in the same place where you just had that rude word with that person, just go back and clean up, apologise for what you said. I'm sorry that I said that, I went off on one, I lost my self-control, I didn't mean to say that thing. And by cleaning up, what's going to happen is that they're going to feel better because you've just apologised to them. But what's perhaps even more important for you is you're going to feel so much better because then that's going to be another little extra piece of heavy weight that you will not be carrying around with you because you've just released it through your own releasing and forgiveness process. So this is something that's so valuable to do. You know, we do judge people, we do criticise people. There's things that we do that we're not proud of and what we can do is we can simply, if the person is around, we can go back to them and we can make that apology. Now supposing that's not possible, supposing you're in a different part of the planet, supposing you don't even know how to reach that person anymore, then what you can do is you can do this. You can say, say it out to the world at large. Say it out with your intention that you want, with your intention to reach that person. So you're working shamanically, you're now working with your energy body, and your energy body is communicating this information. I'm sorry for that thing that I did to you. Please forgive me. I wish to move on. So that's another way you can do it. If the person's deceased, this becomes even more important. There's nothing that holds you back once you understand the power of your humanity as a being that is multidimensional. You've got this physical body and you've got an energy body as well. Through your energy body, it's always possible to make the apology, to ask for forgiveness for someone. Now I'll show you a way that this is done in shamanic terms. And I'm talking about real traditional shamans. When they used to go out and pick the plants to get their collection of herbs to use to heal people, they go up to the plant and just before picking the plant they would apologise to the plant for taking that little piece they were going to take. That's their way of showing respect. It's such a beautiful thing when you think about that. So these are all methods which I've learned are very useful to employ when it comes to the dark side. So it's making this big distinction between what you've done in the past, letting go, apologising, taking the step forward, living a life of integrity and not harming other people and should you ever fall short of your high ideals just take yourself to one side accept that the thing you did was not right and make amends whether it's an apology directly face to face if that's possible 
or an apology from your energy body to their energy body through the ether because don't forget we're all connected all the time now because we are energy bodies as well as beings of flesh and blood it stands to reason that what we are essentially we're broadcasters so if you find yourself where you've still got a problem about a particular person and you've got negative thoughts about them this would be my advice my advice would be to see yourself having something like a blackboard eraser in your energy body sound and just get your blackboard eraser and just erase those negative thoughts which you feel you might be broadcasting or have broadcasted recently just see yourself wiping them off and just substitute it get your piece of chalk out or your magic marker in your virtual world and just write the four classics I love you I'm sorry please forgive me thank you these are the magic antidote given to us by Hawaiian shamans God bless you Hawaiian shaman this is such a powerful piece of technology the simplest thing of all is just to imagine just broadcasting loads of hearts loads of pink hearts coming out from your heart just broadcasting all over the world this is a personal practice I do and it's something I've not actually talked about but I'm, in, I'm invited to do so if I've ever found myself getting a bit negative what I'll do is I'll eventually realize I've been negative I'll take myself to one side and I'll just broadcast loving thoughts of that particular person just imagining hearts going to them then I'll extend it out I'll think about all the people that are really close to me I'll send them loads of hearts just broadcasting the love out then I'll think about the people who I just know casually I'll send it out to them too I'll think of all the people I don't care about one way or the other send it out to them too and then I'll send it out to all the people that I have never met in that case what I mean to say is that I end up in the process just sitting down or lying down quite quietly and all I'm doing is actually broadcasting my life out to every single life form on this whole planet and that feels such a good thing to do you can take it further than me you can actually broadcast your personal love out to every life form in the universe why not because it's 2012 we're all connected everything's joined up so that's something that you can take as a, a consolation or something to feel good about we are all connected you still love that person that person will feel your love so that gives you a wonderful moment where you can feel gratitude towards yourself for acknowledging your love for that person because hey that's what it's all about we're all moving to the point in this wonderful 2012 year where we're getting more and more in touch with our own love for ourselves, our own love with other people and the fact that we're all connected it's such a beautiful thing to realize that we do have this amazing power and it's a power of our consciousness and it's a power of our using our consciousness to broadcast love and what's going to happen this year and this is an extrable process the amount of love on this planet is increasing and the amount of power that the dark side holds sway is decreasing and that's why we find ever more desperate attempts by those in power to try to cling on to their last vestiges of power because the game's over and this is an expression which is becoming more and more common this year people up until 2012 used to talk about the powers that be these days more and more I hear about people talking about the powers that were and that's a good way to look at them because they really are the powers that were because your love my love and everybody else's love is winning the day so take another drink of love and pass it out to everyone thank you